Hey all, Double One Eight Seth Shadow here. Let's go ahead and get into today's market watch with most of the omens that I want to talk about. Some of the omens that have been seeing some bigger movements in recent in the recent week. Starting with what I would say is the most popular of the whole lot right now, which is Octrus, the omen of usurpation, the legendary that we get for swordcraft. And this one has been seeing an increase on its base form, and it now sells for above $10 with a market price of about $12, and base listings at about $12.50. And when it comes to the Evo, that's an interesting one to talk about, where between the regular and the super legendary, they're very similarly priced, and there are still a good amount of regular evolves on the market, and lesser amount on the super legendary at this point base pricing is 944 on the regular one 1090 on the super legendary so at this point well if we take a look at quantities let's see here the quantities that are available there are actually five copies available on the super legendary at 1090 and then there are a good amount of copies at 950 as well for the regular one. But given that's a difference of, what, a dollar forty cents, it's probably better just to pick up the super legendary in that case. You would you would really only need two of them, as far as I would say. And when you want the super legendary of the if you want the super legendary of the base form, that's $22 to start, moves on up to 25 when you consider shipping and handling. And of course, the thing that's iffy about the Evo version is that you also have the Ultimate Rare, which starts off at 90 and mostly has listings around $95. And it looks like misprint foil split. Okay, so I see what they mean. This, kind, this line that you see... Yeah, this line that you can kind of see from the top is what they're talking about for the misprint, where it's the foilings somehow have this kind of line on them, which overall degrades the overall foiling. But it's still, I mean, it's still expensive to pick up if you want the ultimate rare in comparison to the super legendary. One of the other big omens is Galmix, the omen of disdain for Dragoncraft. And this one has also been increasing in value since release to a market price of just over $14. Currently, there are 16 listings on the base form, starting from $12.50. And if you want the super legendary of that, that's $36 right now. Same with Octrice, though. When it comes to the super legendary versus the regular on the evolved form... The base prices are very similar. $5 all the way to $5 on the regular, and then $7 for the Super Legendary. So a difference of about $2 if you want to pick up the Super Legendary instead. As for the Ultimate Rare, this is one of the biggest ones to pick up in this whole set, where the price on this starts at $2.11, and moves up to over 250 for the first three listings. Market price on this is around 201, and then for the super legendary of, oh, I think I already just yeah I already discussed that right. I'll just repeat it. The super legendary of the base form is currently 36 dollars to start, and it goes up to 40 for its first three. The market price on that is 43 dollars. Then we've got Liciano, Omen of Destruction, which has gone. Different directions depending on its low versus high rarities. So the regular legendary has dropped off and now has listings below $1.50. The base listing is currently $1.23 with a market price of $3.76. And then the super legendary has also decreased from its market price. It was it's $23.03 for the market price and $20.90 if for the base listing on that one. But for the ultimate rare, this one is above its market price at 145-ish, and it's 137.50-ish when it comes to the market price on that one. And as for the current spread, there's only one ultimate rare underneath 150. After that, it goes up to 173. And most of the copies that are available for the regular legendary are at two dollars, while 
The Super Legendary does have a few copies available, just under $21. Europa is a very intriguing and unique unit for RuneCraft, where this one still has a higher market price for its Evo, which is expected given that it's a gold rare. However, unlike most others, this is the only one where you only need to play one copy in order to evolve this card three times. Because the way Europa works is that on Fanfare, you can take a Europa from your evolve zone and then just turn it back face down. So you evolve this once, and then on subsequent evos, this card is going to get stronger. And then you can just continue to evolve it as long as you can keep on playing Europa some from somewhere. Currently, it's 60 cents base for the regular form and 83 cents for the evolve. But it also has an ultimate rare of its Evo form, which is starting at $80 right now, but with a market price of just around $47. Dark Alice is one of the reprints for the Glory Finder bundle, but it's still maintaining a pretty significant price. It's up from its market price and now has a base price of $9.43. The market price is just over $8, and the Super Legendary is at $14.26 with a market price of about of over $8 as well. This card will be getting a new alternate art for the next series of showdowns, so that should also shake up values a little bit. But the Ultimate Rare is still on the market for $46, which is lower than its current market price of just about $57.50. Archangel Rena had a buyout in the past for its Evo, which was exclusive to Rena Bahamut for some time. So its market price is still $3.23, but it now has a few listings underneath $2. That's also partly in due to the fact that this card will be available as part of the Glory Finder bundle. And you really only need one or two copies of it. But it is an Evo Gold, which understandably increases its price. But in any case, it's much cheaper now, no longer the dollar amount that it used to be before. Righteous Devil is a card to consider for Sanguine for this format, as it can Evo just by taking damage, or rather it just minuses damage to you, minuses health to you in order to Evo it, and then it does damage in addition to healing you. This one does not have a Glory Finder reprint, but it is really cheap as it comes from set 1, 9 cents to pick up for the base listing, and 38 cents for the Evo. Market prices on both are both below a dollar. The thing about the Omen of Silence is that it really saw a decrease in play of Crazed Executioner. Crazed Executioner allows you to look at your opponent's hand and force a discard of your choice, but even with that advantage, it still costs you life. And so, Sh Shadow Omen for Silence today tends to focus more around just random discards and other types of effects. So, Crazed Executioner is not seeing as much value as it was before. Both its, both its low-end copies are below their current market prices and both below 30 cents. And when it comes to the foils... Both of them have a market price that are under $2, and they're both also just at a dollar or lower to pick up for their base listings. And the last card for today is the is Serpent's Wrath, where the original silver that comes out of set 1 only has 4 listings available, and its market price is $0.80, cents, and there is the foil promo that you can get from this season's promo packs for the tournaments where it's just under $3 and the market price is 4 but this does have reprints in Glory Finder as well. So when it comes to the set 1 variant, that probably won't see too much more of a gain even with the low amount of listings. It really hasn't, despite the fact that it's been one of those fleeting silvers. But with the promo also being up there as the high rarity, that should keep the overall price of the low ones in check. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.